graph a system of linear inequalities using the TI-83 series of calculators. In this tutorial we'll take a look at a couple of examples in which we'll use a graphing calculator to graph a system of linear inequalities. So here's the calculator solution. First we must enter the equations into the calculator so we'll enter the y equals and you want to keep in mind that when you use the graphing calculator to graph equations each equation must be solved for y so that condition is met here so we'll simply enter our equations 2x plus 1 and if we look at 2x plus 1 the inequality is less than this is our first equation I'll go down to our next equation y sub 2 and I'll put in x plus 3 now we have to determine which side of the graph to shade. So here's the symbols we should use for greater than and greater than equal to. We should use the figure where the top half of the square is shaded. For less than, less than equal to, we should use the figure where the bottom portion of our square is shaded. So if we look at our first equation, our inequality is less than so I'll simply go up to our first equation y sub 1 I'm on to scroll to the far left our inequality is less than so I'm going to hit enter three times that's our less than for our next equation y sub 2 our inequality is greater than so I'm on to scroll I'm now at the far left I'm going to hit enter twice for greater than and to the graph the equations we simply press graph you want to keep in mind that the solution to a system of inequalities is the portion of the area where both shaded regions intersect so our solution set would be this particular area For our next example, we're going to graph a system of linear inequalities with three equations. Our first equation is y plus 2x is less than or equal to 0. Our second equation is 4x minus 5y is greater than or equal to negative 10. And our last equation is y is less than or equal to 4. Here's the calculator solution keep in mind that we're using the graphing calculator so each equation must be solved for y so we must solve the first and the second equations for y so we're going to solve the first equation for y so what we should do is add a negative 2x to both sides of our equation and once that's done we see that our variable on the left will cancel. Next we're going to simplify and our newfound equation is y is less than or equal to negative 2x. In the solution continued we're going to solve our second equation for y as well so here again we should add a negative 4x to both sides so notice our x variable will cancel out on the left we simplify and our new equation is negative 5y is less than or equal to negative 4x minus 10 we should next divide by negative 5 Remember the rule, when you divide or multiply by a negative number, you must reverse your inequality. So our inequality to begin with was a greater than or equal to. In the process, we divide it by a negative 5, which forces us to reverse our inequality. So once we simplify our equations, 
our newfound equation is y is less than or equal to four fifths x plus two. In the solution continued, now we're going to enter all three equations into our grapher. So we'll enter the y equals section. And I'll simply clear any existing equations out. Our first equation is y is less than or equal to negative 2x. So for y sub 1, I'm going to put in negative 2x. I'm going to scroll to the far left. And I'm going to change to the less than, less than, equal to symbol. Our second equation, we have 4 fifths x plus 2. I'm going to encase my fractional coefficient within a set of parentheses. So that's 4 fifths times x plus 2. Our inequality for this equation is less than equal to, so I'm going to scroll to the far left, and I'm going to hit enter three times. For our less than or less than equal to inequality, and for our last equation, y is less than or equal to 4, so y sub 3 should equal to 4. Our inequality is less than or equal to. So to sort of reiterate our symbols. And lastly, we should graph our equation. So we'll simply press graph. So you want to keep in mind that the solution set is the intersecting areas for all three curves. So our solution set is this area. This is the part where all three shaded areas intersect.